So hi, uh, welcome to this short video and I wanted to uh, talk about both the paper here, uh, Backwards Planning with Generative AI Case Study Evidence from US K-12 Teachers from Kepler, uh, Sin Shazri and Snyder um, because there's, there's some really interesting things in here about um, how we choose to use uh, generative AI um, and how we can get sort of better productivity gains. Um, the first uh, thing to think about here is is you know, what are the sort of motives for using AI? Is it for working with you as a sort of a co-pilot, to coin a phrase, uh, as, a, as an assistant uh, uh, who helps you um, around sort of co-intelligence, using them as like an intern? Or is it around uh, using, wanting to use the AI uh, to try and help you generate something, to create something? Now, as we know, generative AI is good at helping create things. But what this paper found was actually the better productivity gains were found when um, teachers chose to use um, the AI t uh, uh, around an input model where you input information, you have a conversation with it, you work with it, and it helps you improve your output as a result of that. So I thought I'd use the paper um, in ChatGPT as a vehicle to sort of demonstrate how that works and how we can get a better productivity gain from it by conversing rather than trying to have like some sort of perfect prompt, albeit prompts are actually really, really helpful. Um, so um, I downloaded the paper. Uh, here it is. It's quite lengthy, as you'll see. Uh, and the first thing that, that um, ChatGPT is really good at uh, is sort of summarizing content. We can flick through and find useful information here. So for example, we might see, um, you know, there's a coding scheme for helping um, sort of level out the research in this paper so using uh, phrases like make for me find for me jump start for me iterate with me um, to try and you know, bring out an output from a series of inputs and conversation so i'm going to try this approach um, to converse with chat gpt to analyze uh, this particular um, paper so um, the first thing I did was I downloaded it, <laughs> as you would, and I've already popped it here into ChatGPT to save a little bit of time. Uh, so I'm going to ask it a, a few things. So the first thing I'll ask it to do is to summarize the paper and tell me a bit, a bit about it and then say, are there any good quotes in there about co-intelligence? So it'll go away and have a little think and then it'll come back and it'll summarize the paper. It'll tell you some of the key findings, think around productivity gains, and it's already telling us um, some interesting things here. You know, teachers who sought both input and output from generative AI reported productivity gains and work quality. In contrast, those who only used it for output or did not use it at all, obviously, <laughs> uh, did not report similar gains. So those who only used it for output did not see the gains. So using it in that sort of input-output kind of way is, is, is a good thing to do sort of moving forward. So we then learn <coughs> that there aren't any specific um, co-intelligence um, sort of quotes, but there are some quotes um, that touch on how working with the AI can bring these gains. Really useful. Now, as with any uh, paper, there's often some interesting stats or graphs in there. So I'll ask it, you know, are there any interesting stats or graphs in there? Can you give me some key elements uh, and some of the survey results? Let's see what it comes back with. So it's reading away and it's given me some um, good information here. So it tells me about that prompt coding scheme that we talked about a second ago. There's some survey data here. Uh, teachers who used different modification outputs like quizzes or worksheets did not report significant productivity gains compared to those who also used it for inputs. This suggests that the benefit of AI in educational settings might be more pronounced when it is used as a collaborative tool rather than just as a task ex uh, executor. Okay, uh, so um, I want to sort of see in there, you know, is there anywhere where we talk about statistics uh, and its perceived impact or any tables around that? So let's uh, ask it, uh, are there any tables uh, on the, and I've already written this bit, so I'll cheat a bit. There we go. Uh, and let's see if there's any tables in there. And as it would have it, I, I already know that this, this is in there. So it's given me this information on the um, prompt scheme that I saw before there. It's given me some other bits of information. Just taking a moment. There we go. Okay. Um, 
any more data, let's just ask it that. So we've got the same thing coming through here. That's not particularly useful. Uh, that's not particularly useful. Uh, what about um, specific data on this? Which table is it? Ah, that's much better. It's now telling me which table it is, so I can sort of track that down. Table 5. So if I go through back to the PDF, uh, wherever that's gone, just here, and we can now look for Table 5. We've got Table 3 here. Uh, there's table four and there's table five and what I'm going to do quickly now is I'm going to grab a screenshot of that uh, I'm going to pop that into chat GPT um, just over here and drop it in as a screenshot and now I'm just going to ask it to plot that as a graph for me uh, to help that sort of visualize it a bit more clearly can you plot that as a graph that's quite a nice thing for it to do because um, up these stats like this is lovely to see this sort of thing but um, what about seeing that in a, in a graphical format so it's analyzing the screenshot just here and it's done it as a nice uh, bar chart for me uh, fantastic yeah, fantastic um, as you see that's a nice interactive chart here as well loving that brilliant stuff um, so um, I want to explain this in simple terms uh, for colleagues to help guide them with their use of uh, Microsoft Copilot uh, to help them with their productivity. Can you give me five steps to implement these ideas in everyday practice using some real life examples from a year 10 GCSE class. So my prompt here hasn't really helped, okay? Um, it has a bit, so you've got jumpstart your planning, collaborate with AI, make for me. Actually, it's been really quite useful. So you give me some different subject areas as well. Um, what if I taught uh, GCSE music? Can you make that work for me? Because actually I teach music. And so hopefully uh, from working like this, you can see quickly and easily how ChatGPT can, or Copilot, um, or whatever it is you're using actually, uh, can um, give you better outputs and, uh, and better results when you actually converse with it and work in this way. And I mean, how great is it that you can actually summarize this um, great piece of research um, in, in this quick and simple way. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Cheers.